so this is uh, Reed's Yellow Dent Corn. I picked Reed's because the obvious. Um, but I was turned on to this. David Scanlon. I went and watched a uh, talk that he he did over at the Howie Homestead at Lame Lakeland or uh, Lake County, sorry, Lake County Permaculture Group put together this thing. And he came and spoke and talked about a couple of crops in particular. One of them was corn, and he was talking about how much he liked dent corn because of how heavy it produces per square foot. And I think he was talking something like it's the most heavily calorie producing plant per square foot in the world, something to that effect. But I was at that talk on March 7th, I think it was. And we're at the beginning of June. We've been harvesting corn for two weeks. So inside of like the, the moment he told me about that and what he did, and you know, just like planted at the right time, this stuff just produces like crazy. I ran home, I ordered some on the way home on Amazon and I planted it and here we are. Yeah, it's not sweet corn. But if you catch them young, it is sweet corn. <laughs> you catch them like that, it's harder. It's more starchy. It still tastes good. But I've struggled with corn forever because sweet corn just gets annihilated. So this is a gigantic win for me. And even if I don't eat it like this, fresh raw right out of the garden, we take it inside, grind it down, cornmeal, we'll make tortillas, and we can do all kinds of stuff with that. Bread fish with it. Just the fact that we can grow like a good amount. And it does not look to be bothered by too many pets. I mean, look, look who's chilling. Mr. Lover. There's a little stink bug right there. Um, there's all kinds of food coming out of there. So I'm really, really happy with uh, this dent corn experiment. I only planted a very small amount and it really did well. So uh, he also talked about potatoes and uh, red norland <coughs> potatoes was the one that uh, he settled on and said was a pretty good variety grow so on the way home i also ordered five pounds of those i also already have a bucket of potatoes up there so i'm harassing this dude to come and do a talk here at the farm we're going to do some sort of workshop or something where you, he can just open his brain up because there's a bunch of stuff in there that you guys want to know about growing some basic food crops. He's real, real knowledgeable. And just some little tiny tips produce results really quickly. So I, uh, I want to share what I saw and you know this dude that I know with the rest of you guys. So I will work on that. And uh, in the meantime, you can check David Scanlon out at Practical Plants. It's his uh, nursery and business name. So. Give him a like and check him out. Real, real knowledgeable guy. I'm looking really forward to, to that project and that, uh, that talk. That's going to be good stuff here. So, grow some food. Later.